The other day I was using a for loop in Java to loop over a collection of elements. Inside of that collection, I would evaluate one of the elements to see if it met some criteria. If it did, I would try to remove it from the collection. Well, as I was doing this, I kept running into a concurrent modification exception. And there's actually a really good reason this comes up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you why this comes up and how you can fix it. And we'll do it right after this. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dan Vega and on this channel you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials related to software development. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and as always, anything we talk about will be listed in the description below. So with that, let's get on to today's tutorial. So as I talked about in the introduction, we're going to use a Java for loop to loop over a collection and then we're going to do some evaluating inside of that for loop to see if an item in that collection meets our criteria. We'll try to remove that element only to see this concurrent modification exception come up. What we're going to do is look at a couple of different ways that we can solve for this. One of which is kind of the old school way, and the other is a new method that was added to Java 8 in the collections interface. So with that, let's dive into IntelliJ and look at this example. All right, so here we are in IntelliJ. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're just going to create a Java project using Java 8. You could use Java 9 as well. And I'm going to just create a quick Java Hello World. And we're going to place this under Java and uh, concurrent modification exception. So we're going to go ahead and finish that, create that directory. Again, I probably could have done this in something like JShell. Uh, if you don't know what JShell is, I'll link to it below, but I just wanted to open up an IDE and kind of show you this example. So here we are in our program here, and we have a static void, static void, public static void main here, and what we're going to do is jump into an example of where this might come up. So let's say that I had a list of, say, strings, and we'll call these cities. And I'm going to um, create a new uh, array list of cities. So I'll say new uh, array list. And inside of there, I'm actually going to use the arrays.asList just to create a list here. And so I'm going to create some cities right around my neighborhood here. So we'll say Avon, Cleveland. Um, I'm going to say my hometown right now is Rocky River. And let's go ahead and add Lakewood. Just adding a bunch in here. These could be obviously whatever you want them to be. I'm actually creating a couple with spaces in between because those are going to be the ones that I want to look at. I want to go ahead and remove anyone with a space in it. Um, really just for demo purposes uh, doesn't really mean anything, but that's all we're going to do. So if we go ahead and print these, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and run this, and we should see our list of cities print out. Okay, so let's look at the example of where this may have come up. So let's go ahead and use a for loop here, and I'm going to say for a string of city in cities, that's our cities collection, I want to go ahead and loop over those. And what I want to do is I want to say if that city contains a space, so if there's a space in there, we do have a couple up there that have spaces in them. And what I want to do then is I want you to go ahead and remove that object. So we're going to remove the city object. So this looks pretty standard. Uh, again, we're just looping over a list of cities. And if that city contains a space, go ahead and remove it. Seems like pretty trivial, so let's go ahead and run that. And there we get a method, we get an exception. So uh, java.util.concurrent modification exception. So to understand what's really happening here is we're basically trying to loop over a collection of cities. And the, what happens is underneath the hood, it's actually using an iterator to loop over them. So as it's looping over them, looping over them with one iterator, 
um, it's trying to uh, basically remove it from one collection but not really update the other to say that this has been removed and so with those two things happening that's why you kind of get that concurrent modification exception so one way that we could solve this is we can kind of go old school here and this is pre Java 8 so what we might have done is we might have looped over the actual iterator so we could say alright I want to create an iterator here of string we'll call this iterator and what we want to do is set this equal to the city's iterator and as long as iterator dot has next we should be good so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the city so we're gonna say uh, iterator go ahead and give me that city and then we can look and determine if that city contains a space just like we did above so we might say if city dot contains here's our space and we can go ahead and use the iterator to remove that so we can say iterator dot remove so if we go ahead and run this now let me just put this down here cities so now if we go ahead and run this this actually isn't going to oops forgot that this shouldn't throw an error now and if we look at it we have our original list up here and then we have our modified list down here which has taken out any of those cities with a space inside of it so that seems to work out pretty well and again this is kind of what it does underneath the hood when you say for string city in cities really it's creating an iterator or it's getting the iterator underneath the hood and looping over it so you're using one mechanism to loop over it you're using the cities collection to try and remove its it that element from itself and the two are never really talking to each other so what that's why that issue comes up and that's one way of fixing it but this is a very verbose way and kind of archaic way if you ask me to to accomplish that so again java 8 added a new method to the collections interface called remove if and this takes a predicate so this allows us on any collection to remove based on some condition. So what we can do is we can say cities dot remove if you'll see it takes a predicate there and all we're gonna do is we're gonna say I want you to give me the city here as an argument and if city dot city dot contains that's going to be our predicate there so let's go ahead and run that and you see that it does the same thing there's our original collection on top and then our modified collection below so we could do it like this but this is obviously much simpler to use and just reads cleaner to to be able to read a, a line of code like that so we like typing less we like reading less um, and that's really really nice clean way of doing this so again, uh, all the language enhancements in Java 8, Java 9, and coming in Java 10, these things are really great and, and starts to cut a lot of the verbose yet uh, out of Java that has plagued it for a long time. So really excited to see this remove if uh, method added to the collections interface. And I'll try to start covering more of these kind of helpful methods as, as we go along here on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And I appreciate you watching and have a great day.